Well, there we go. We are back from Bowen Island. It was a very short trip. I really enjoyed it. It was a good time to relax. But it was a short trip because it's a pretty small freaking island. I think it's seven miles long by two or so miles wide or something like that. So it's only like 20, 24 square miles in size. So it didn't take long to go through that island. I took a little bit of video, not a lot, and that will be coming up in the future. But today, I got work and I'm gonna take the bike for a ride. I need to get out and uh, exercise on the bike a little more. And I think maybe I might discuss what I'm looking at. And um, I'm undecided on what my next mode of transportation wheels will be. I'm having a very tough decision on this. So uh, yeah, uh, maybe today we'll talk about it more. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Be cool, be awesome, and let's continue our merry day. So, now that I've sold off the van and got myself a little bit of moolah burning a hole in my pocket, I'm going on the computer and I'm going back to where I was in the springtime. And that was, I was thinking about looking at purchasing an electric bike. Wow, holy shit, look at that. Well now this was the first bike that I actually fell in love with. I was in downtown Vancouver and I spotted out of the corner of my eye this thing. It was freaking amazing to see this in person. I love the brown color, I remember the brown grips, and most definitely the saddlebag. I thought this was the coolest thing on earth. And I still think it's actually the coolest thing on earth. Like, look at this. That is so badass cool. I love the look of that. Uh, that, maybe, so-so, whatever the light was. But here, this is the problem with that one. The price is cha-ching, 2,800 bucks. Actually, you might as well round that off to 2,900. That's a few pennies, that's for sure. However, I was on YouTube searching away, as usual, various things, and then that video popped up on something like this. This is actually a pedal bike. Yes, it's got pedals, and it's got electric motor, but it's pretty much the same size as a real motorbike. No engine, though. This one's electric. It is legal four here in Canada, it's a 500 watt, and they are limited to 32 kilometers an hour. However, the limiter can be overridden, and you can get more out of these things. And it does have 17 inch wheels. Now I, Major League, fell in love with this too. And the price on this one is, yes, the same price as the other one, $27.99. This thing is freaking pretty freaking badass. Unfreaking believable. Like, check that out. But then, crazy YouTube, as usual, it sends me more pop ups. That one I showed you. Oh, that's a guy on a, that uh, Civi bike, Cheetah. That is, yeah, still looks pretty radical. However, when I was on YouTube, this thing popped up. Reviews on this one, Outback Mountain Bike, and it's less. It's a pretty decent price. Two grand, full suspension, blah, 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 blah. Uh, big three-inch tires, all of that good stuff. So now I'm thinking, you know what? That would be the ultimate. Those things, no insurance. Who cares? You don't need a license. Not a big issue there. But no insurance for those things. I'm saving money every year. If I buy something like that. The other thing would be... Da, 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 no gas. Here, gas is pretty expensive. Vancouver, it's like five and a half bucks a gallon. Yeah, it's not cheap. Hell with that. 
you know what? That bike, zero. Zero, zero, zero. I'll plug it in downstairs. Downstairs, we don't pay the hydro. It, we In our parking lot, there's an outlet there, and yeah, no fee. So you know what? I could ride cheap, cheap, cheap bastard style. I like it. So I have a decision to make. I don't know yet. More research time. Okay, this is some of the reason why I want a trail bike or trail electric bike. See, I can come down here and explore areas like this. Yeah, I got the pedal bike, but I want something where I can get a bit more speed out of it. I want something that'll do 30 miles an hour on regular streets, but on the side roads I can plot along. So that is one of the biggest considerations. And look at this. This is within a five minute walk of where we live. This beautiful little creek area. Everywhere around Vancouver, this type of stuff is everywhere. And that's why I love this city compared to where I used to live, where in the winter it's minus and 30 and snow. Now, yeah, you could ski, cross-country ski, or snowmobile, or be like a bear and hibernate. <laughs> but after 50 plus years of minus 30, I'll take this anytime, every day, any day. This one here, it's right by the house. The other special thing about this spot is there's a certain type of honeybird, hummingbird, not honeybird, oh my god. I get on video and I can't speak. So there's a special hummingbird that stays around this area. And you know, it's only native to the coast here, Pacific Coast, and it's a en somewhat endangered hummingbird. And the thing is, right by this bridge here, they have the Burnaby oil pipeline they're putting in. They started putting it in from Alberta to the ocean front and then on the tankers to wherever. And the environmentalist came and said, you know what, you're chopping down the trees to put the pipeline through here. You know what, all these hummingbirds are struggling to survive. And I posted a video previous where I caught a few of the hummingbirds coming to the feeder that I have on the deck. Very cute little bird, very amazing little guy. And very sad that this is happening, that they're chopping these tree down. The other thing is, what happens if you have an oil spill here? Look at this. This is a salmon river. This flows quite far. Very important river, this one here. Not only for the hummingbirds, but local birds, the fish, everything else. This is at high risk because a couple years back, there was an oil t uh, line break up on the highway here and it polluted some of the housing in the area. I'll see if I can find that clip. That could easily happen here. So I, I would have concerns too. Uh, you know what? I don't like the pipeline going through here. I, I, I'm for, uh, or I'm against them putting the pipeline here. So you know what? This could go by the wayside. Yeah, the water's a little murky. It's summer water. It's not clear spring runoff, but it's still important. So this is one part of the site, Trans Mountain Project Operations Site. And notice that they have cut down a few trees here. Obviously to put the uh, pipeline along the roadside here. Okay, I don't have a time for my work to get in, but believe it or not, look at this thing. This is freaking amazing. This is actually a freaking pedal bike. You can see the pedals there. and. That thing looks amazing and gorgeous. Wow, uh, that's why it's a hard decision. This bike looks freaking totally awesome, man. I'm so that's why I don't know whether to buy a, a mountain bike style or something like this. And this thing is around the three thousand dollar mark, believe it or not. But it looks like a real bike, like a motorbike. The only thing is it could be uncomfy I'm thinking on long rides so that's a consideration so for the past month I have been thinking about this researching it and unsure on what to pick up sport bike cruiser bike 
mountain bike, I have no clue yet. <laughs> a lot of different variables. So we got a lot, some more thinking, more researching to do. And you know what else? I think the best thing to do is to go to through a couple of dealers around Vancouver area and see what's out there. Maybe they'll let us take a test ride. Corona's hopefully not in their mind and thinking safety and thinking more selling. <laughs> um, and you know what? Bike sales have been going crazy. So a lot of people have been looking and researching and selling out of bikes are incredible right now. There's uh, probably gonna be a wait maybe for me to even pick one up. So anyhow, my friends, come along on this adventure, awesomeness adventure, searching for an e-bike, electrical bike. So I want something that's gonna be pretty decent. So um, as cheap as I am, I might have to spend a little bit more than what I want, but hey, what the hell, eh? So, thanks for staying with me today, listening to me, yeah, blah, 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 Chuck. Yeah, stay along for the adventure. We'll see you next time. Keep being kind and awesome, because it's fucking hot as hell. Whoops, I swore. Yeah, it's, yeah, we won't even go there. Cheers, see you next time.